Amy in Korea. So ever since I started traveling a few years back, I told myself to make videos so I could remember all my experiences abroad. But obviously I fail. And so I'm hoping that this year, start of 2012, I'll start making more videos. And I figured the best way to start off the year is to start recording my New Year's resolutions. So these are my top five New Year's resolutions for 2012, okay? So excuse if I keep looking down because I wrote it all down in my notebook. Um, number one, I want to find a passion. And it sounds a little ridiculous because you don't really find a passion. It's more of something that comes to you, I guess. But I honestly don't know what I'm passionate about. I guess I never really pursued anything to the extent of figuring out if I truly liked it or loved it or whatever. And all I want is just... It could be like a small hobby or anything, or maybe something that would lead me to a career, a career path that I want. And I have no idea at this moment, you know? And I, and that might be why I don't have a career yet, or a career choice or path, because I still don't know that passion. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, number two. I would like to be more decisive. So, if anybody knows me, I am the most indecisive person in the world. There's <laughs> no question about it. Um, I want to be able to make a decision and be a go-getter. I am the furthest thing from a go-getter possible. If there's an opportunity, like a really good opportunity, I wouldn't go for it because I'm just, I don't know, I guess I'm just afraid of all the consequences or not being able to do it or whatever you know I only I tend to only do things where I'm comfortable and that's really not a good thing because by doing that I'm really holding back like anything that I can do but we'll see hopefully in 2012 I take all the opportunities that come my way make decisions and just do it so hopefully Number three, I want to save more money. I'm 23 now and I have no savings. And I feel like I definitely need that. That is something that a 23 year old should already have, but I lack in that department completely, sadly. So number four is to be a better cook. So, <sighs> I actually always wanted to learn how to cook. I don't think that I am the worst cook ever, but I want to be one of those moms where their kids are off to college or somewhere and they haven't came back in a long time and they just say, oh, I miss my mom's home cooked meals. That's what I want to be. That's what I want to be able to have these meals that my children really want to eat. And not one of those parents who take out their kids to, I don't know, McDonald's or go out to eat every day or order takeout. I really don't want that. So hopefully this year I will be able to really perfect my cooking. Because in 2011, I actually started cooking a lot. And I gotta say I improved. But I'm still not to par where I say my dad. My dad is the best cook ever. So hopefully I reach his level one day. Okay, number five is to exercise. <laughs> I think every year this is one of my resolutions to exercise or to stop being lazy, but it never happens, sadly. Um, and again, I'm 23 and I feel like I'm the most unhealthiest person ever. I mean, I don't eat badly. I eat pretty healthy, I would say. But what's the point of that if I don't exercise, you know? I'm so weak. I have zero stamina. I get fatigued so easily. It's ridiculous. So hopefully, hopefully, 
I start exercising or even just stop being lazy and maybe just taking walks to places instead of complaining all the time about it. So I'm not expecting to be like a buff person by the end of this year or be super woo gym let's go but hopefully just get off my ass stop watching TV so much oh well I can watch TV as long as I'm exercising while watching TV so yeah okay so that's it that's my New Year's resolution and I have to head out now excuse all the mess my room is a little messy but hope you enjoy bye